here we go. We're going to see Ned's Sephiroth against Sharp's ZSS. Crazy stuff. I'm I'm always interested to always see Sephiroth just because it's one of the characters like we know when Offline comes back. This, if you guys think Min Min is is a, is a terror, man, Sephiroth is on a whole different level. This character, yeah. this character, he may not be that great online, but offline, man, this character is gonna be something else. So we'll see. But yeah, he's definitely one of the characters. I say when we come back to offline, he's gonna explode for sure. But Sharp is on the ZSS, so even though Sephiroth does have a lot of things in range, uh, he has some pretty solid speed. But ZSS just overwhelming pressure with speed and the ability to just move in and out of the neutral is really good. But the thing here is that, like, because of Sephiroth's range and complementary speed with that, the speed that he does have, he's able to punish ZSS also collectively for trying to be around him too much. And the way that we're seeing Ned play this is very good. He's always just looking for a safe on shield yeah. pick so that he can force Sharp into an aerial, and then he'll punish him for it. Case in point, how we see that back air, how we see this up air as well. Yeah, what a spaced up air. Ned's spacing so far here in game one is so cool. <laughs> I just love yeah. it. He's, he's, he feels like... Um, he's like flying across stage, but speaking of flying across stage, I feel like Sharp picked ZSS on purpose in order to really um, put Nen to a compromising position with ZSS's overall better speed. Yeah, and that's what she's able to do. She's kind of able to like some. Uh, this is not a zoner matchup per se, but the, her, one of her biggest skills as the <laughs> character in Toolkit is being able to zone break. So where Sephiroth wants to be in that zoner range is ZSS can immediately move in and out and then punish Zephyroth for being around there. That's an oh. up smash. That'll be the stock. Yeah, and Zephyroth, yeah. kind of light, man. He ain't that heavy as yeah. you would think. Uh, it's, it's just a thing where Zephyroth... Oh, nice uh, uh, dash attack there, kill. But uh, you know, the, the weight is definitely an issue for Zephyroth because the character can suffer from really strong whiff punishes. So if you're you know, deep in the stock, man, it might just be curtains for you. But that said, Ned is able to um, unlock this character. Try to unlock this character right now. Good grab here. Back here. Oh, man. Oh, spot that. That's going to be the down throw. Wait for it. Ooh, okay. That was early execution of the forward throw, but I appreciate that just knowing that where Sharp might try to DI and escape that down the forward throw. Yeah. The other thing is that Sephiroth doesn't have to worry that much about being edge guard in this matchup unless Ned drifts too far away from stage. Yeah. Because of uh, you know, Sephiroth's ability to plank. Nice grab. And, oh, oh, he was going to talk, try to call it the air dodge, but Sharp uh, managed to position himself. Ooh, just drifts out of that up air call out. These two are going back and forth with the aerial call outs here. Oh, almost on the sweet spot back oh, air here. Oh Sephiroth barely on the get up. The down smash here to poke through the shield. Miss? And that's why I talked about the way that Ned is spacing in these aerials is he's looking to just force Ned to, I'm sorry, Sharp to go for a jump and then you can hit him with an aerial and that up air was such a good movement especially complemented by how well he spaced that down smash and the pressure sharp that sharp fell diving. oh imagine the catch ned coming up from ledge very academic now these two are jockeying for position trying to get the first punch window nice and there by ned to cover himself but sharp able to fire right back A great empty okay. hop. Back air, nice. And that's going to force Sharp to actually come back that Ooh, way. But, Sh but Sharp was forced to use the air dodge there in order to avoid the, the grape orb. <laughs> but even then, it didn't really punish him that much. Very, very smart play. And again, again Sharp plays his character, too, because he plays half the cast. So he kind of has at least some kind of inkling of Ned's tricks. But oh, in terms of the up airs, upper right. ladder. Yeah, no, I was going to say. It off, though. Oh, and oh, it has to watch the landing. That's the thing here for Ned. Look at where he's landing on center stage. That's good for Sharp to continue juggles, but also to try to call out that landing. That's what I'm saying, bro. If you're getting juggled, don't return to the scene of the crime. If you escape that juggle, go towards the ledge and find another way around. Sharp's got Ned at ledge, but Ned escapes. You see, Sharp is very much trying to play this incrementally. He's just try to take just enough space to close the distance between him and Ned, but every time he gets close, Ned's just swiping with that giant Masamune sword. Oh, it's almost space, well spaced back here to immediately to that up air. Ned is sharp pretty much toe to toe. Uh, Sharp's gonna watch himself here too, because you can just see Ned is immediately yeah. looking to call every single space Sharp is looking to be at. 
Kayla that, charged out the up smash mm, whip. That was red. scary too. <laughs> this is very tense, folks. Parry. Oh no, follow up. Oh, that's it. That's oh! it. Yeah. After like all game of Ned being able to deal with the paralyzer um, pressure with shield, he just gets called out the worst possible time. It's just, that's so it's so tough because it's just like oh I've been shielding at the right time this whole time. It's like a a rhythm game of sorts, and it's just the one time he missed messed up the rhythm, and it's the go to sharp. Do you think ZSS has a bad alt in her repertoire? Because I was thinking about that yellow green alt that Sharp chose. That one's my least favorite, but I don't think they're bad. Yeah. There's very few characters that have like primary yellow, primary green color that that's decent and it's about as good as you can ask for. <laughs> the character that I right. feel like has it pretty bad in terms of colors is Fox. The strawberry red. All of them, not that great. I think Fox and Falco have the best colors, arguably, in Melee. But we can talk about that some other time. I'm here sharp with the first game one. This is still winner's quarters, man. This is best of three territory. And this is normally a grand finals match you would normally see. Right. We're the two top world-class talent players right now battling out here on 2GG's MSM Online 55. Oh, he tried to escape the ledge. Sir Sharp was picking his option there, and so was Ned, finally deploying the counter. And it's just enough. Sharp was going for the kill, recognizing finally a chance to punish Ned for planking. And instead, it was Ned who managed to turn the tables, and that was driving the action. That was such a good call out. Oh, the oh. Almost nailing the kill there. Instead, Ned able to get back to the ledge. We're seeing more offstage play here than in game one. That's a very interesting change of pace. Nice yeah. there from Ned trying to continue this ledge pressure, trying to keep Sharp offstage and continue the ledge trap. Looking for the kill down below. Not quite going to get it. Man, Sharp can't get back into this one. Oh, have you seen that variant of the uppy? <laughs> Because I haven't seen it like at that particular angle or range yet. It's because the range is so good that for Ned to just yeah. do it there, to push Sharp out and then still collectively grab the ledge at the same time. It's why you also see, you know, Mithra and Pyro mains go for the same thing as well. Oh, parry up tilt with the scoop and Ned is in firm control of game two. Yeah, that's a good call here. Ned's still alive. Great DI, 119, he barely touches the blast zone. But what a great get... oh sharp on that call out. He knows, he knows. As soon as he saw the blade did itself into the wall, he was like, alright, time to take this. <laughs> oh, the later hit of uh multi-hit of up smash there connecting and allowing Sharp to continue that particular string, but now it's Ned driving late in air. Oh, almost need a follow-up off the explosion explosive grape orb. Oh, no confirm from the Nair Sharp just looking for stage control at this point. Oh, and that oh. angle for it's all too. I feel and like Ned had some had some mischievous intentions there with that. Oh, point. that's oh, yeah. The that's the down smash call out. Oh. Yeah, because if he held shield, try to parry too much, all the pressure that he put up on Sharp pretty much led Sharp to try to stay on the ground, and that was a great call out for Ned. Ned taking that game 1-1 one, one apiece. Man, Ned has definitely adapted. I agree with David in chat. That was a total watch your toes moment. Yeah, that is. But all, like I said, all that pressure he was just putting in on, on Knight, I'm sorry, on Sharp. And Sharp was kind of, Sharp had some good calls too, but it's the thing of yeah. like, okay, cool. I have to be careful because if Sephiroth gets me on one area, one, per, one point here, like it'll... It'll definitely call me out. Like, Sephiroth is light, but ZSS ain't heavier either. So that's good for, like, not only Sharp to understand that from Ned, but also Ned to understand, all right, cool. This is a weakness here that I've taken to full structure, and now I can just punish him for being on the ground. And he did that before. He saw that with that forward, so he called him out way before he even got the chance to go for attack. 
So game three, last game between these two. Like I said, best of three only. That's the crazy part. This is usually a grand final set. A lot of talent here tonight at MSN. Nice patience there by Ned before he starts to drop shield. But so far, just a good old fashioned slobber knocker back and forth between these two. Vance, these two want to fight. They're not going to run from one another. <laughs> well, that's the thing. You have to be careful, especially for Ned. It's not about how you fight your opponent. I'm sorry. It's not about fighting your opponent. That is one thing that happened. It's more important how you fight him. Ned has been so immaculate on the spacing with Sephiroth uh -oh. that that missed space forward there, it cost them the stock there. That was just sharp punishing landing after landing after landing. It was like completely pinballing Ned from uh, corner to corner getting that first stock. Sharp right now is just not letting up on the pressure. Big F tilt though from Ned. This might be his window to get in, and he's gonna get it with the Giga Flare. You notice that there's one thing that Sephiroth's not particularly good at, and that is anti-airing <laughs> without yeah. a bit, big commitment. <laughs> it's too slow, yeah. Well, that's the thing about Sephiroth in every zone or in, in balance, right? They have that really good range to keep you away, but they have to have that end lag to complement it, because if it's if it's too fast, man, you would zoners would just be great. Can you imagine if like Sephiroth's like moves were like within frame five or one to like five oh, frames okay. of end lag? That'd be good. Completely and, busted. The character has to have bad frame data in order for it to be balanced. Yeah. Oh, nice fair call out there. Sharp just able to get the ledge and narrows his way back to stage. Tech chase. Oh, no. Oh. He had his sight right the other direction there. And Ned managed to just barely avoid what would have been a big kill confirmed. Oh, managed to avoid being buried, though. The Nair is coming through for Ned, finally. He's finding his way. Oh, we'll trying to call it with a big up smash, but it said whiffs. Sharp looking for the roll and not quite going to get it. Pace is picked up, folks. Back here from Sharp here. He's looking for the, a lot of control at that point. That's a great call out because you know you know how that side of me is able to just barely stick out and that punishes Ned for going for that option he did last time. And yeah, this Sephiroth, time... Sephiroth's a tall fella, so that hurt box yeah. popped up. <laughs> and the crazy thing, too, is that this time Sharp wasn't anywhere near Ned for Ned to actually go for that side special that way. Uh-oh. The up air is coming through. Ooh, big whiff punish there by Ned. You have tilt connecting. Nice patience by Sharp not to fall for any of those ledge trap options. And he's still surviving the up tilt. Sharp's playing this stock so well right now. Sharp manages the whole shield there against two down tilts. Oh, he's gonna try oh, for the no. kill, but instead it's completely sucked into the auto slash hitbox. And I appreciate Sharp on that one because he immediately wanted to end things before Ned could have the chance to actually build any sort of momentum. That's gonna be a back throw. Back Not throw the backer. stock. Not the stock. Ned was definitely hunting for the backer. Maybe the upper just because you know how Sharp can go for that flip kick. Oh, got, got caught in the up there. <laughs> That wasn't a product of good spacing, more so Sharp just winding up spacing himself into it. <laughs> you see how much Sharp's just restraining himself from going full tilt on the pressure. But the up air, he's picked his opportunity. He's gonna up beat. Oh, not quite. He didn't go for it instead. Ned now. Bane up air? Is Ooh. Up. And this is all coming from an immaculate Nair train up against Sharp, too. And it has to continue we, haven't, we haven't talked about it at all, but the one wing angel is active as well. Boosts yeah. Ned stats. It boosts the stats, boosts the jump, giving him an extra one. That's a good call That's with the forward tilt, trying to get him on the ledge. Oh, that was good on net line with that neutral air, because if he definitely hit that on Sharp, you could have tried to confirm it to something else. Sharp going down deep, but Ned able to threaten. Lots of such. Manages the shield in time to avoid the side B. Look at that. Look at the. Uh, that's oh. good. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. 
look at the great oh. way for Ned to try to fight for center stage. Using all those jumps, but the movement as well to try to avoid Sharp as much as possible. Wow! That's so rough because Sharp immediately didn't even pummel. He just threw him up because you never want to give your opponent the chance to actually try and DI that. And that was Sharp that capitalizing was on Sephiroth's biggest weakness, his weight. His weight his and weight. the... Com yeah, his weight and the combination of DI. Like, he had no... There was no way... Like at one, like I don't know if Ned was holding the DI, but like for sure, it's you just knew Sharp immediately tossed that out there, and he knows like, cool, don't give him, don't go for a pummel, just up throw, and that's it. Wow, that was.